what will win in a drag race between the new Audi RS7 Performance, a BMW M8 Grand Coupe and an AMG GT63 four-door. Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching CarWow. Now, let me tell you about this Audi 4-litre twin-turbo V8. It puts out 630 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque, drives all four wheels for an eight speed automatic gearbox with a torque converter, but it does have launch control. It's quite heavy, this car weighs in at 2.1 tons and it's quite expensive as well. Don't know what that voice was for. 130,000 pounds. Don't know what that voice was for either. Anyway, let's see if we can talk to someone who just talks normally rather than like a complete and utter idiot. Who's in the BMW? Let me guess. Nick, you're in the BMW. It is a less hairy version of Nick, it's Rory. Oh, hello Rory. The poshest person on CarWow, apparently, according to my old friend Yanni. Did you go to private school? Disappointingly, no. I went to a state school, but I'm proud of it, to be fair. I just, I'm from Dorset, so I just sound posh. I'm just not actually that posh. So Yanni is not that posh. Tell me about your posh car. So yeah, I'm sat in the BMW M8, but this is the Grand Coupe with the four doors, and it's in quite an amazing shade of aubergine on the outside, and what can only be described as a sort of flat white or a Werther's original <laughs> on the inside. It's obviously one of the weirdest specs I've ever seen, but you know, each their own. Yeah, it has a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8. It's a 625 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque, and it drives all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic gearbox. It weighs just over two tons. I think it's 2,074 kilos, and these are about 140,000 pounds. He's coming to have a look. <laughs> it, it's more of the colour on the outside and then on the inside. If it was, say, black on the outside, I'd, I'd be kind of like, okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> I absolutely bloody love it. Yeah, a big respect to the first owner, whoever that way. It might be Pinnacle Detailing who have given us the car today. It might be them. I don't know. I'll go and ask them. But whoever did, this would have cost so much money to put in because um, it's a bit BMW individual, you know. So, <sighs> I, yeah. oh, good choice. Absolutely amazing, awesome colour combination. My car's quite cool. So it's got like blue inserts and stuff, but it's nothing compared to this. I'm going to go check out the Merc. <laughs> Hello, man. Boring. Can you just tell everyone the stats? Yep. <laughs> so this is the confusingly long named Mercedes AMG GT 63S four door coupe thing. Stats are nice and simple. Four litre twin turbo V8, 639 horsepower, which is more than any car here. 900 newton meters, which is also more than any other car here. Nine speed automatic gearbox, which is more gears than any other car. Four wheel drive. It weighs less than those two cars. So 2,045 kilos, but it's the most expensive at 150. £54,000. It ain't cheap. Sorry, Nick. Um, didn't mean to just be rude to you. I was just so bored by the interior of your car compared to these other two cars that I, I just had to get away from it. Every single thing about this car is black. It's like black paint, black wheels, black seats, black interior. Even the ambient lighting looks like UV black light. It's crazy. Do you know what we should do now, though? See which car seems the most exciting when you rev it. So I'm going to rev up my RS7. <laughs> Where? Am I in the sporty mode? I'm in the sporty mode. I've just turned the car off. I hate stop start. Put your hands up right now if you hate stop start. Hands up. Hands up. Yep, hands up. Uh, guys, do you both hate stop start? Yes, when you're trying to do revs, I do, yeah. Yeah, it's embarrassing when you try and launch and you forget the engine's not on. <laughs> anyway, one must, yeah, I'm revving. I think I hate soft limiters even more though. Rubbish. Go on, BMW. I'm sure you don't have a softie. Big old softie at four and a half. What is the world coming to when even BMW has a soft limiter? Okay, Nick, let's hear your Merc. Oh, pops and bangs, though. Yep, 4,000 RPM soft limiter, but a couple of pops and bangs. I don't know, it doesn't really make up for it though, does it? Sort of did a bit, it, it wins, as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see some more drag races, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Shall we get on with the racing? That stop start. You absolute How do I turn you off? It's not RS mode why I've got bloody stop start. Turn, what the frickin' Anyway, let's race. Three, two, one. Oh, you 
beauty. This feels so much quicker than the old RS7. <laughs> <laughs> I've been left for dust! Oh, that Audi's done me. What's going on? Come on, AMG! I enjoyed that a lot. I don't know what's happening with the other cars. Freaking hell, this was a bit vicious under the slowdown. First off, what were you guys doing on the line? Or was I busy jumping it? I felt like I got a good launch there, to be honest. And this is one of the first M BMWs I've driven in a while. It didn't push for its brakes. I don't think I launched too far behind you or anything. I didn't get a brilliant launch. I thought this car would be quicker off the line, to be honest. But that RS7 was just like you shot out of a cannon, Matt. I don't know what happened. Maybe you did jump. Um, stewards, can you tell me if I jumped the start? No, you didn't jump the start, it was all good. Lots of people say, why don't you have random lights, you know, like they do on the Formula One? So you just basically have to react to the lights going out. Well, we don't do that because we want to compare the cars. So what we do is actually time the launch. So I know when to lift off the brake as the hands are just going down. So as long as the hands have started to move, the car can then launch. And the reason we want it to be like that is because we're comparing cars, not just drivers. Otherwise we would be comparing drivers and you could have one car that just was really slow off the line and it might have done a quarter mile time much quicker than the other car, but it actually loses the race. It just wouldn't make sense. So we want them all to launch at the same time. And that's why we do it the same way all the time. Okay. You, the comments going oh you shouldn't do that <laughs> actually please do that because all interaction on these videos is good in the algorithm <laughs> ah, let's let's race again i really only need to win this race and then it's game over for everybody because that'll be two out of three Oh, that Mercedes leapt ahead of the beam. I can't even say I'm too excited. Yes, please. <laughs> that Audi's just gone. Here comes the BMW now, though. Whoa, it's always gaining. Bosh. The way this Audi launches is incredible. That BMW is coming past eventually, I think. Maybe if we race to the half mile, but not on the quarter mile. Not on the quarter mile at all. Was that better for you guys? Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna it's much better launch there. <laughs> Okay, should we try that again? But I'll tell you what, can we get a response from Rory first so you're not both talking over the radio at the same time? So Rory, what happened then? So yeah, in the MA, I'm not going to get a better launch than that. It put it down really, really well. I think I timed it about as well as I'm going to do as well. It did beat the Mercedes in the end though, didn't it, Nick? <laughs> yeah, it did, which is crazy. I got a better launch than you and I've got more power, more torque and less weight and you still overtook me. And let's not talk about Matt though, because that doesn't really matter, does it? We know he's going to win. He's got the uh, newest car. That's not necessarily the case because the time I got in this car isn't as good as the best times I've had out of those cars, I don't think. We'll just cover that right now in the voiceover recap bit. So then what exactly happened? Well, surprise, surprise, the Audi won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 11.3 seconds. The BMW took 11.5 seconds and the Mercedes was last with a time of 11.7 seconds. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. 
The best bit is, it's completely free. I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out button that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google help me CarWow and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price. On with the video. Right, now we go have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. Cars are in normal comfort or auto mode. I'm gonna race over the half mile. Three, two, one, go. Honestly, what they've done to this, what they've done to that Mercedes actually. What is going on? What they've done to this Audi is incredible. It's just so much more on it. I thought the BMW would have me here, but it's not. What an improvement. In the past, the Audi was always the one getting its ass whooped by the BMW and the Mercedes, but it's just completely changed with this car, this performance, wow. I'm gonna go to you first, Nick. Did you have a bit of a nightmare? Yes, I did. I was expecting to feel all smug because I know this has that snappy multi-clutch nine-speed gearbox, but comfort mode in this, I would put money on it not giving you the full beans, the full 639 horsepower, because I got destroyed. What surprised me there though, Rory, was I was expecting the BMW to, you know, maybe head off at about the same time and then just roll away with it, but it wasn't the case. I did think I would at least kick down sooner than you, and then you might come past, but you actually just seemed to kick down sooner and went off into the sunset. So yeah, not great for me. I have got a bunch more torque, you know, like I've got 100 newton meters more. That might have something to do with it. But BMWs always overperform for their numbers. And I'm so used to a BMW just like on these longer races, just edging past. Yeah, well, I think- We with the RS6, didn't we? Um, and the RS4. Do you know what? I think we've probably just had enough chat for now. The editors are gonna cut it out anyway, because it's just boring and people will be clicking out the video. So who knows what he said. Let's do the next race. Same thing again, but this time in your sportiest setting, manual mode for the gearbox from 50, but locked in third gear, All right? Half mile race, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Freaking hell, this thing just absolutely picks up like you would not believe. This is not right. Now this is where I think the BMW will come past, but I'm gapping him. No, he's doing it again. Where is that Merc? Well done, OJ! Yes, you nailed it with this car. Freaking love it. It's got all the goodness of the previous RS7, superb comfort, very quiet, luxurious, but my God, now this engine absolutely hauls ass and it feels like they've done way more to it than just 30 horsepower. This is the best 30 horsepower ever. We don't need to discuss that too much. BMW, I beat you. Mercedes MG, <laughs> you weren't even in it. That again, felt like maybe 400, 450 horsepower. I, I don't think it's well. I think there's something slightly wrong with it. Okay, let's just do one more race and see what happens, all right? I mean, it wasn't terrible in the standing starts. It was all right then. Maybe take it for a bit of a cruise up there, mate, and just come back and switch it off, off and on again. I've got some fancy race gauges on here that no one's ever going to use, and one of them does say horsepower and newton meters. I'm going to keep half an eye on that this time to just see if even it thinks it's underperforming. Why don't you just drive up the runway now and see? Yep, you know, I was on the money. 421 horsepower is all it would give me, and about 480 newton meters of torque. This car ain't happy. Hi, Gary. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Come in here. So we've got a bit of a problem with your car. Oh dear. So it's not putting out full power. So you've got like a little readout that you can get on the dash. Yeah. It says how much performance it's putting out. And apparently instead of like the 640 it's supposed to have, it's doing like 420. Tune, it's yeah. just normal standard. It's, it's stock, stock. It's stock, yeah. never messed around with it. Have you had it since new? No. Okay. I bought it on 18,000. On 18,000 miles. How long you had it? Three years. Three years. Have you noticed a drop off in performance ever? No. 
so we're going to turn it off and on again, reset it and see if it changes things a little bit. OK, is it under warranty still? Yeah. Oh, this is good then, isn't it? You should be able to get it fixed. So we've done you a service there. Right, let me, let's just reset the car and see if it's happy. It has fixed itself before by turning it off and on again. Really? When a coil pack's gone. OK. Oh, OK, let's see what happens. So you turn it off and on again. Yep. I think you've left it off long enough, you cycled it. Do you want to run up the runway and see yeah. what you get? We'll give it a go, fingers crossed. OK. We seem to have full beans back again. Do you think that was running low power on the drag race or not? I couldn't tell you for certain. I expected this car to be quicker. It didn't feel as down on power in the drag as it did in the rolling races. It was noticeable in the rolling races, but not so much in the drag. So there's a chance, but I, I wouldn't want to say for certain. Do you know what we should do then? I reckon we need to have another drag race just to be sure. But let's do that at the end of the video. Let's continue with these rolling races for now. So let's do a rolling race from second gear at 30 miles an hour, Nick, and hopefully your vehicle will perform. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the pickup is insane on this. That's a little bit more like it. But, ah, oh, they're still pulling away. That's so frustrating. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know, Mark, it still doesn't seem that fast. I oh, what the f***? That windscreen's strong, isn't it? Bloody hell, poor bird. I had a bit of a bird strike there, right in the centre of my windscreen, which is scary. I'd won at that point though. Nick? Were you getting full power? I was, the full 639 horsepower, but it wasn't enough, was it? No, I'm a bit shook up. Rory, do you have anything to add? Not really. I came second, I watched you walk away, and I could see Nick in my door mirror but yeah he definitely had 639 horse by that time well there we go poor bird right we have a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line full emergency stop now, if you'd rather watch another drag race click on the pop-up banner appear on the top right corner of the screen or follow the qr code on the screen now with your phone if not stay here for the brake test because here comes the line Is. Where is it? Is it even in? Well, I can't even see it. it. Must be level with the BMW. Okay, so that's definitely a win for the Audi, but where is the Mercedes in relation to the BMW? I'd say he's probably two meters ahead of me, so I beat him just. But you know what? This has been a clean sweep for the Audi. I don't know about you, Nick, but I've never ever said that before in an Audi versus BMW versus Mercedes drag race, I don't think. I think you're right. I think it's the very first time. Hey, Nick, do you know what we're going to do? Let's just rerun the drag race to be sure that you ran at full power. I could really, uh, really mess things up now, couldn't I, by winning? Let's see. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, definitely full power now. Nah, nah. <laughs> oh, no, it's happening again to him. To be brutally honest, that looked like exactly what happened <laughs> in the final track race that we did before. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Matt. It felt exactly the same for where I'm sitting, which is a shame because now we know that it was running the full 639 horsepower in all the drag races, and yet I still lost. Can't believe it. Well, there you go. And interestingly, this car ran exactly the same time. Anyway, sorry, Birdie. I hope you enjoyed the video though, despite that bit of carnage. If you want to watch some other videos, click on the video windows. And if you click on the CarWow logo, you can go to CarWow to check out how these cars quarter mile times compared to everything else that we've ever drag raced and to see the other times that we've had in those two cars, all right, in the past. Thanks for watching. Let me get someone to clean this off now because I'm not going to do it. It'll make me go.